Hey guys, it's Casey with CA Conversions, and we thought we'd bring you a little video. This is Scott Hansen, uh, one of our customers. He is a hot shotter. Um, he's got a lovely 2012 3500 dually, and he's got a little over 600,000 miles on his truck and about 100,000 miles away, uh, or a go. He put a CA Conversions Alice in his truck. So I'm gonna let Scott talk a little bit about how things changed, how happy he is with it, how much he loves us. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to say those things. All you. So what do you think? Well, I, I'm happy that I made the change. My uh, 68 RFE crapped out on me uh, on the truck and if getting it rebuilt was still just means I'm gonna have a rebuilt piece of crap. So that's when I looked into the Allison's and getting all new computers and talked with Dave and Casey several times over a period of weeks before I decided to make the jump. Uh, but anyway, after I bought the, I, I bought the transmission uh, separately uh, uh, just out of a yard, and it was uh, out of a new, new truck that had been rolled, so I didn't have any miles on it. But when I got all the parts in from, uh, uh, from Casey, everything, he, he was all well marked and the, and the directions were good. Uh, all I had to do, I did it out in my driveway and I didn't have a lift so I had a, probably the biggest problem was jacking the truck up high enough because the transmission's bigger than the 68 RFE that I took it out. Uh, and Scott also found out it's a whole lot heavier than the 68 RFE. <laughs> yeah, I dropped, dropped it on my arm once, so. <laughs> it's not something you really want to do. But uh, yeah, it's it, it was it was that was a joy. And about what kind of horsepower are you running? Uh, about 435 right now. Yeah, and generally, how heavy do you tow? Uh, I usually try to stay under 12,000. And it's not because I won't tow more. It's just I don't get paid anymore to tow heavier you can't than tow that. more, so why beat your truck up? Yeah, why beat the truck up? I. Yeah, hey, I like them around 6,000 pounds. I don't even know it's there. and I can go up down the hills of Wyoming and not think twice. So how often, Scott, you do a lot of transporting and you're in the hills, like you said, and up in the mountains. How often do you use your manual mode as opposed to just driving it in automatic? Uh, if I'm towing, I always have it in manual mode. I keep, unless I've just got a really small trailer, a 22 foot or smaller, I might have it drive because there's not enough weight there that it carries one way or the other. The, I, you know, I can, I, I don't even, I forget it's even back there. The transmission doesn't give me any trouble. It uh, doesn't heat up. It doesn't, it just does what it should. And it was an easy, easy install. Once I put the adapter plate on, the transmission, hardest thing, the hardest part of the job is getting the starter in. And then the rest of it was just easy peasy. Yep, the wiring is just real plug and play, and you got two, three wires to hook up, and they're well marked, and uh, and then you've got to get, or at least in my case, I had to get the trans, uh, the drive shaft uh, shortened, uh, or what to have it lengthened. Anyway, I had to have the the short, drive shaft changed. the short drive shaft uh, uh, changed about seven inches because of the difference in lengths of the two transmissions. Which is typical. You're you're almost always going to modify your drive shafts, um, unless it, some of the older manuals uh, you can pick it up in the slip loop. But 90% of the time, you're going to modify your drive shaft, shorten length, and and that you know I, that's not something I did at home. I just took it to a machine shop. They did it, and I just had all the U joints and stuff put in. It's easier to let them do it than me try to. Absolutely. Because they might have been the original U joints for all I know. And then you were just in the neighborhood, so you decided to stop by and visit, which yep. was wonderful. Yep, I was down. I had a delivery down in Gulf Breeze. Which is where we used to be. It's about 15 miles from here. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, Scott, thank you so much. I, I it, appreciate it's so, it. It's so nice to get to talk to customers who, who've actually put some miles on their vehicles. And, and, you know, everybody puts it in and then writes us a testimonial and they love it. Or, you know, they're really excited about it. But it's, it's harder you know, to get people to talk about it 100,000 miles or 200,000 miles later because usually you're off wherever it is you are. So 
we just wanted to take this opportunity to let you talk to somebody or see somebody who's actually put our conversion in and actually uses his truck, works his truck, and uh, came by to visit because he's happy. Thanks.